Hey, it's Michael here from Corona POS to talk with you about another emerging trend in retail, RFID technology. Staying competitive and meeting customer demands requires efficient and innovative solutions. Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID, technology has emerged as a critical technology for retailers, providing real-time visibility, enhanced inventory management, and overall improved customer experiences. Implementing RFID in a retail environment can seem daunting, but with careful planning and execution, retailers can unlock its full potential. This comprehensive video will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of successfully implementing RFID in retail. I'll also discuss several benefits that RFID tech brings to retailers. Before diving into RFID implementation, it's essential to establish clear goals and objectives for the project. Retailers must identify specific pain points they aim to address, such as reducing inventory inaccuracies or improving stock visibility. Setting measurable and achievable targets will help guide the implementation process and measure its success. You'll need to be sure that your store's infrastructure supports RFID implementation. Retailers must have a reliable network infrastructure for seamless communication between RFID readers and backend systems. Evaluate the store's layout and physical environment to determine the optimal placement of RFID readers and antennas for maximum tag detection and accuracy. Decide whether fixed or mobile readers make sense in your retail space and workflow, but more on that in a minute. In addition to infrastructure, you also must develop a comprehensive RFID tagging strategy for products in the store. RFID tags can be attached to individual items, incorporated into packaging, or applied to larger product groups. Determine the most efficient tagging method based on the product's characteristics, size, and material. Consider using tamper-resistant tags for high-value items to prevent theft. There are several different ways that retailers can use RFID tags, so choosing the appropriate RFID technology is critical for successful implementation. Consider factors such as tag type, like passive or active, frequency, like low, high, or ultra high, and read range. Retailers typically use passive ultra-high frequency, or UHF, RFID tags due to their cost-effectiveness and versatility. Select RFID readers and antennas that align with the store layout and operational requirements. Now let's get back to the readers for a minute. Retailers must choose between two main types of RFID readers, fixed and mobile. So let's go over the main difference between these options. A fixed RFID reader is a stationary device permanently mounted or installed in a specific location, such as a store shelf, warehouse entrance, or production line. It continuously scans and captures RFID tag data from nearby items as they pass through its read range. A retailer might choose a fixed RFID reader when they require continuous and centralized monitoring of inventory and assets within their store or stock room. On the other hand, a mobile RFID reader is a portable handheld device that users can carry to various locations. It allows for on-the-go scanning, item locating, and data capture from RFID tags. This mobility provides flexibility for inventory management, asset tracking, and more. Mobile readers allow for on-the-go scanning, making them suitable for tasks like stock taking, receiving shipments, and conducting audits in different areas of the retail environment. There are some additional pieces of hardware that retailers have to consider with RFID technology too. RFID tags are tiny electronic devices that contain unique identifiers which are attached to retail products. Tags can be passive, meaning they're powered by the reader's signal, or active, meaning they contain their own power source. RFID readers that we talked about a minute ago emit radio signals and capture the data transmitted by RFID tags within their range. These can be handheld or fixed in a specific location. Readers can operate at various frequencies, such as low frequency, high frequency, and ultra high frequency. The antenna is integrated with the RFID reader and is responsible for transmitting and receiving radio signals to and from the tags. One last piece of the hardware setup worth mentioning is middleware. This acts as an interface between the RFID readers and higher level applications. They manage the data flow, process tag information, and facilitate communication with software systems. There's also hardware to think about. Your hardware will communicate through the middleware with a software system. The software typically contains the following items. First, the RFID platform software manages the data collected from the RFID readers and tags. It typically includes tag encoding, data filtering, real-time monitoring, and reporting. 
The RFID system also requires a database to store the collected data, including tag IDs, timestamps, and location information. There are also various application softwares available. Specific programs interpret the RFID data for various purposes, such as inventory management, asset tracking, access control, and supply chain optimization. Finally, think about integration. To fully leverage RFID's capabilities, integrate the technology with existing retail systems such as inventory management and point of sale. This integration allows retailers to gain real-time insights into stock levels, track sales trends, and analyze customer behavior. Retailers can collaborate with RFID solution providers or in-house IT teams to ensure a seamless integration process. If you do opt to Im implement RFID tech at your business, be sure to conduct a pilot study with several products or in the case of chains or franchises in several stores before rolling out RFID across the entire store or chain. This small scale implementation allows retailers to test the technology, understand some challenges and fine tune the processes. The pilot study will also provide valuable insights into how retailers can tailor their RFID systems to meet the unique needs of their vertical and store or stores. You also need to keep your team up to speed. Successful RFID implementation relies heavily on the support and engagement of store employees. Provide comprehensive training to store staff from floor assistants to management on how to use the RFID system effectively. Educate them on the benefits of RFID and how to improve their own day-to-day -day operations. Fostering more support from your employees will ensure smooth adoption and better utilization of the technology. Once the implementation is complete, you need to regularly monitor and evaluate its performance against the defined goals and objectives. Use key performance indicators to measure the impact of RFID on inventory accuracy, stock visibility, sales, and customer satisfaction. Continuously make data-driven decisions to optimize your operations. Well, RFID technology offers numerous benefits that can significantly improve operational efficiency. So, Let's briefly focus on four of the most important benefits. First, RFID enables real-time automated inventory tracking. This provides retailers with accurate and up-to-date stock information. Unlike traditional barcode systems that require line-of-sight scanning, RFID can read multiple items simultaneously, reducing the time and effort needed for stock taking. With improved visibility into stock levels and product locations, retailers can optimize inventory replenishment, reduce stockouts, and minimize overstock situations. This efficiency reduces carrying costs, lowers labor expenses, and improves inventory turnover. RFID also streamlines the supply chain and logistics processes, enhancing the overall supply chain visibility. By tagging shipments and individual items, retailers can monitor their movement through every stage, from manufacturers to distribution centers and even all the way up to retail stores. This transparency improves shipment accuracy and reduces errors, resulting in more responsive and efficient supply chain management. Third, RFID technology can enhance the customer shopping experience through features like self-checkout kiosks and smart shelves. With RFID-enabled self-checkout, customers can conveniently scan and pay for their items. This reduces waiting time and enhances overall customer satisfaction. Smart shelves equipped with RFID can detect when products are low or out of stock, allowing staff to restock items and avoid customer disappointment. Finally, fourth, RFID helps in mitigating retail theft and shrinkage. Retailers can set up RFID-enabled gates at exits by tagging high-value items or products prone to theft. These gates trigger alarms if unauthorized items are removed without proper deactivation. RFID also enables improved loss prevention through better inventory accuracy. This reduces shrinkage by preventing misplaced or stolen items from going unnoticed. Modern retailers need an RFID system that works seamlessly with a smart cloud-based point of sale. Fortunately, at Corona POS, we offer a dynamic and comprehensive integration with various partners. So get in touch with us to explore how Corona POS can support RFID implementation at your warehouse or retail store. Our experts will guide you through ideal hardware and software options tailored to your niche. Click the link in the description to see how RFID tech will work in your store. And for more videos like this one, subscribe to our blog and channel. Thanks for watching.